Hey there guys, welcome to the Saturday Sit Down. I'm Dean Gornitis, giving you a book review every single Saturday. Even if I get sick, I'm reading books. What are you doing with your life? There's no question Vonnegut's known best for Slaughterhouse Five, but Cat's Cradle is really just as good on a quality level. Rather than Vonnegut giving us his feelings on war and throwing a little science fiction in for fun, here we have Vonnegut's feelings on religion and mixing in a little science fiction for fun. The book's divided into micro chapters. I want to say there's over 130 of them in the book. I love this type of format. Think Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code, if you ever read that one. It really helps speed through the book because you always know that the next chapter is only going to be two, maybe three pages long, and so you never really stop reading it. Unlike a normal book where you finish a chapter and you say, oh, the next one's going to be another 40 pages, I think I'll stop for tonight. This type of book keeps you going until you look at the clock and you say, oh god, I have to work in the morning. And the content is really fun too. Vonnegut here takes a microscopic look at religion and how man has used it to help him forge through the harder, more desperate times of their life and to help enhance the happier, more eventful times too. I would never say Vonnegut's critical to the point of annoyance. It's not like he's some preacher trying to tell us religion's bad, stay away from religion, or praise God, he will always save you, but instead kind of just takes a casual observant stance, sort of like an old man sitting on his chair on the front porch with his leg crossed over his lap, watching the neighborhood walk by. Indifferent, maybe? And the way Vonnegut does this is through the creation of his own religion, which here he titles Bacchanonism. A religion so detailed, in fact, I had to remind myself a few times that this wasn't, in fact, a real religion, but just something Vonnegut made up for the use in his fiction. What that says about religion in general, I don't know, but it was really funny. When isn't Vonnegut funny? And it's that kind of funny in sort of a, a black way. And I hesitate saying black because I don't want you to think that it's the type of humor where uh, people are making jokes out of dead babies or something like that, but instead more of a lackadaisical, this is the world, maybe the world sucks, maybe it doesn't, but I'm living here anyway and I'm going to make the best out of it that I can. In normal Vonnegut fashion, he chucks in the science fiction aspects too. Never enough that it becomes, say, a cliche science fiction novel with lasers blasting and alien ships landing, but here he uses science fiction as sort of an accessory to make the story just a little bit crazier. The locations in the book are crazy and energetic. The characters in the book are wild and just borderline unbelievable, which makes them a blast to read. Overall, the book is a solid must-have, must-read novel. Don't go to the library. Go to the store and buy this. Read it, put it on your bookshelf, because you're going to be coming back to it again, and then you're probably going to come back to it again. And then you'll probably come back to it again. One final note, the first three words of the book are call me Jonah. The first three words in Moby Dick are, call me Ishmael. I have no idea what type of line he was trying to draw there. If you can connect the dots, let me know. Leave some comments. They're down there. Comment section. That's it. Saturday sit down. Case closed. Dean Gornitis, reading Kurt Vonnegut, Cat's Cradle, loved it. My green screen, love it. What should I read next week? People on Twitter are giving me suggestions. People on Tumblr are giving me suggestions. It's time for you to chime in. Who's wearing the pants here, me or you? What slaughterhouse, what bop bop bop, lit up, Always messing up my words. <laughs>